Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the video session of Kenta Publisher, the true leaders of one curriculum, one nation. Today's lecture is for class 3, chapter number 2, lecture number 5. The name of the unit was Family Values. By the end of the lesson, the student will be able to write simple, descriptive, narrative and expository paragraphs. For the class task, kindly open textbook page number 13 and the other question is on page number 16. On textbook page number 13, this question number 2, learn the words for dictation and make meaningful sentences in your notebook. There is a small teacher's note here, encourage the students to make sentences on their own rather than looking them up in the lesson. The words in front of you are share, family, promise decide values as this is your class task you're going to make sentences one by one here you can also make your own sentences so the first word is share I like to share my ice cream. Always remember that the first word or letter of a sentence is supposed to be capital always and there must be a full stop at the end. The start of the sentence is with a capital letter and the end of the sentence there is a full stop. The next word is family. I love my family. Again, start of the sentence with the capital I and end of the sentence with the full stop. Next word, promise. Promise. Never break your Promise. Promise ka matlab vada. Kabhi apna vada na todiye. Start of the sentence, capital letter, end of the sentence, full stop. The next word is decide. Decide, yani fesla karna. We have to decide where to go for a picnic. Capital letter, full stop. We have to decide where to go for a picnic. Values. Values, family values are very important. Start capital ending with the full stop. Family values are very important. You can pause this video, complete your task on your notebook and then move on to the next task. Question number 3 on page number 16. Read the lesson and complete these sentences. The elder son was a dash help to his father. He sold his dash and went away. The younger son dashed his father to work hard. He learned to dash his family and elders. All right, the elder son was a great help to his father. He sold his share and went away. The younger son 
promised his father to work hard. He learned to respect his family and elders. Question 4. Mark the right answers from the given choices. The first one has been done for you. Which son was a great help to his father? The elder one. Number two, which son did not like to work on the farm? The younger, the youngest, boy or smaller? The youngest. On whom did the younger son waste all his money? Friends, neighbors, parents, brothers. Friends. Number four, what did the younger son miss the most after losing his money? School, home, friends, teacher, home. Number five, the younger son learned to dash his family. Happy, fool, reject or respect? The answer is respect. Writing skills, complete the passage by providing information about your brother. My brother. My brother's name is Ali. He is 12 years old. He is a student. He studies in class 7. My brother plays football with me. He helps me in my studies. He offers dash five times a day. He offers prayers five times a day. There is a small activity here on the bottom. If you were in the place of the elder brother, what would have you done? Discuss in groups. If you have friends, cousins, brothers and sisters, you can do this activity as a discussion with them at home. Practice task, workbook page number 11 and 12. Question 6 says, look at the following pictures carefully and guess the family values. Write a short and simple paragraph on them. What do you see in this picture? This is an old lady with a stick and this little girl is holding the hand and helping her cross the street. She is helping her to cross the street. If you can see the picture of zebra lines. Zebra lines. These lines are there for the pedestrians. People who walk on the road must cross the road through the zebra line. And the cars need to stop before the zebra line, not on top of the zebra line. What is this little girl doing? She is offering or bringing water for her mother. So you have to think of some lines here which you are going to put up after discussing with your mother, brother or sister. For example, you can write always respect your family. Help as much as you can. And you can write two or three more sentences like this. Now for the task related to this activity is on page number 16, summer pack. Number four, write a simple descriptive paragraph about any of your favorite family member. Tell from which SLO this question has been taken. You can write a small paragraph about your mother or father or grandparents or any aunt or uncle. You have to think of that person who is favorite for you in the family and then write a few lines here 
and let us know about him or her. Thank you for attending the lessons. I hope that you have learned this unit very well and the message has been conveyed. We all are responsible of how our society acts and behave. Children of every nation are the building blocks of character and morality. Always try to be the best version of yourself inside and outside your house. See you again. Allah Hafiz.